Zeal versus Etheric Attunement. I could explain all of the utility cells, but I think we're all very aware of and have come to the conclusion that if you aren't running Catalyst and Tonics, then your utility cell choice is most likely going to be between these two. And it's interesting, as there isn't a completely obvious answer to which one is better. So we're going to go over why that is, as there are times where Attunement is better and there are times when Zeal is better. But hello. Hello everyone, my name is Trevor, I go by the Mr. Trails, welcome to the channel. If you enjoy Dauntless and are not subscribed already, consider subscribing to the channel, I post Dauntless content here every week. And join the Discord server in the description if you are interested in keeping up to date with any of the content I post, both here on YouTube and on Twitch, as well as looking for Hunt Pass and other types of giveaways. So for Zeal, the Lantern Changes have turned this from one of the more deceptively bad cells in the game to one of the top three utility cells. 65% to the Lantern Ability Effectiveness at plus 6, and 35% at plus 3. And because it affects the damage of Lanterns now, even that plus 3 can lead to over a thousand more base damage for the ability on each use. But when you think about it, having your Lantern fire faster will double the base damage of it. And Etheric Attunement will have your Lantern firing faster. So the question is, which one is better? Well, we can't exactly make that statement immediately upon looking at this, as you can tell that it would be situational as to which one is better. If the fight lasts a duration of time that allows an etheric attunement build to get an extra lantern hold that a zeal build wouldn't, then the etheric attunement build would be better. But the flip side is, if the fight lasts a duration of time where both builds get the same amount of lantern holds, then zeal will win. So we can break this all down into a chart that has these time periods periods on them. We'll do a chart for if we have a plus 3 utility build, and we'll do another chart for if we have a plus 6 utility build. We'll start off at 0 seconds, which will denote the beginning of our fight. Due to the timed cooldown, players should be able to use their lantern to begin a fight pretty much every time. As for the other column, it'll be used to tell us how much damage we're getting out of our lantern. I could use actual damage numbers, but I don't want to lose some of you because of using big numbers. So what we can do is show what you would multiply the base damage of the lantern of to show how much of the base damage you have dealt. Plus, this will also make it so I don't have to speak in terms of a specific lantern. So for etheric attunement, we'll put 1, since we did the damage equivalent of 1 lantern use. And for zeal, we'll put 1.35, as when you use zeal 3, your lantern will be 35% more effective. Then the next section of the table is going to be at 20 25 seconds, and at 25 seconds we'll get another lantern hold out of etheric attunement. So we'll have the damage of 2 lantern holds compared to the damage of 1.35 lantern holds. Then at 30 seconds we get our second lantern hold with zeal, so we'll have 2 to 2.7. So you can see there for a brief 5 seconds of time, etheric attunement did pull ahead. When we next get a lantern hold with etheric attunement, it's going to be 3 to 2.7, which will happen at 50 seconds. And then Etheric Attunement will take the lead until 60 seconds, where we will get another Lantern Hold with Zeal. The damage outputs will be 4.05 for Zeal and 3 for Etheric Attunement at this time. But this shows us something interesting. Even when we have our next Lantern Hold with Etheric Attunement, our Zeal build will still have dealt more damage. And this will be the case for the rest of the fight, no matter how long it goes on. So we can now break down the time frame for which cell is better when. From 0 to 25 seconds, Zeal 3 is better than Attunement 3. From 25 seconds to 30 seconds, Attunement 3 is better. Then from 30 to 50 seconds, Zeal is better again. And from 50 to 60 seconds, Attunement is better. And if the fight were to last longer than 60 seconds, then Zeal would be the winner from there on. So when it comes to the plus 3 values of these cells, you only get about 15 seconds where a Etheric Attunement 3 will be better than Zeal 3 in terms of damage. And we're going to naturally then wonder what the plus 6 of the utility cells would have for us, and we'll probably expect a similar thing. But we're also going to take a look at Zeal 3 Attunement 3 being in the same build, in case you're wondering whether you should max out Attunement, say if you're running a shock weapon. Our chart will begin the same way, starting at 0 seconds with each variation of 
of build getting a lantern use. Zeal 6 gives 65% effectiveness, meaning that it will be 1.65 times the base damage per use. Zeal 3, Attunement 3 will be 1.35, and Attunement 6 will be 1. Our next snapshot of time will come at 20 seconds, where Attunement 6 will get another lantern hold, bringing it to 2. The next will be at 25 seconds, where Attunement 3 and Zeal 3 will be able to activate again, and then at 30 seconds for Zeal 6. The table will continue with each activation of Lantern by each build, Attunement 6 happening every 20 seconds, 3 of each happening at every 25 seconds, and Zeal 6 happening every 30 seconds. What we find from the table is actually rather disappointing for Etheric Attunement 6. The only time period where Etheric Attunement 6 would be the best option of these utility cell combinations when it comes to damage would be between 20 to 25 seconds. Even at 40 seconds, where it will get another lantern use over either of the two other combos, Zeal 6 is still ahead, because after two lantern uses, Zeal 6 already adds more than one activation worth of damage. But Zeal 6 and Zeal 3 Attunement 3 are the real stories here, as they kind of trade blows for which is better pretty much forever, in terms of a Dauntless fight. When you look at the first two minutes of a fight, Zeal 3 Attunement 3 will be better for 50 seconds, and Zeal 6 will be better for 65 seconds. But we should note that 20 of these seconds are the very first 20 seconds of the fight, which you aren't very likely to finish off the behemoth in. And when you look at it this way, Zeal 3 Attunement 3 and Zeal 6 are about even with each other. So is there a specific reason you might want to use one or the other? Is there even a reason to use Etheric Attunement 6? Well, yes, there is. See, lanterns aren't 100% about damage, they're also about utility. If you're using the Skarn or Koshai lanterns, you're most likely doing it for the utility, being the shield or the lifesteal. And if that's what you're concerned with, having the ability happen as often as possible is a bit more desirable than the extra damage that the lantern hold would do. Thus, you would want to run attunement instead of zeal. And while the shields and the lifesteal effects of the lanterns are affected by zeal, and you could theoretically get more shields or more lifesteal out of it, it isn't really worth it. On the Skarn lantern, the shield is still capped at 600, and the only benefit of zeal would be getting to that 600 a bit quicker. But you would need some type of lantern cooldown reduction to get that 600 shield anyway, since there is a timer on that shield. Shield. And for the Koshai Lantern, you will usually overheal anyway, even on builds with 1700 HP, so increasing the amount of lifesteal you get on a Lantern Hold isn't really necessary. Additionally, the Shrike Lantern would be used for more of a utility reason as well, and making the attack speed boost active for half of the fight is more valuable than making it just a little bit faster for the same one-third of the fight that it normally is. When it comes to Zeal 3 Attunement 3, versus Zeal 6 for damage reasons, I'd say this is honestly mostly up to preference as well as how good of a slayer you are. If your average fight takes about 40 seconds, Zeal 6 is probably the one for you. If your average fight takes about 75 or so seconds, you might want Zeal 3 Attunement 3. With how the math on these two works out, I'd say there's no fundamental difference in the strength of a build between Zeal 6 and Zeal 3 Attunement 3 when it comes to damage damage. But this is only really if you need to have 6 of a utility cell. I would recommend that if you are not using Catalyst that you keep your utility cell count to plus 3. In which case, for damage focused lanterns I'd recommend Zeal, and for utility focused lanterns I'd recommend Etheric Attunement. Thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed the breakdown consider leaving a like on the video, and if you enjoyed Dauntless and are not subscribed already, consider subscribing to the channel. I post Dauntless content here every week. And if you're making any purchases in Dauntless or the Epic Games Store, consider using code the Mr. Trails. Make sure the A is before the I. I have been Trevor, I go by the Mr. Trails, and I will catch you guys next time.